Hi, my name is Chance Raven, and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Go Engineer. and today I'm going to be going over the Nano Dimension add-in for SolidWorks. So in SolidWorks, I've created a Qi wireless charging coil that I'm going to be in importing into the Nano Dimension add-in so that we can create a job file that we can import into the Dragonfly 2020, Nano Dimension's current PCB 3D printer. Nano Dimension is a company that has come up with a PCB 3D printer. It utilizes 3D inkjet technology, specialized nanoparticle inks, and advanced software to allow you to print antennas, PCBs, electromagnets, and many other types of embedded electronics utilizing two materials, a dielectric polymer and a nanoparticle silver ink. With just these two materials, you can print up PCBs and many other types of electronics in one single printer, allowing you to rapidly prototype your designs without having to outsource to third parties, usually sending them overseas and potentially exposing your designs and IP to other companies. This also allows you to handle revisions and design changes rapidly without having to wait weeks or even months. So we're going to go over how this part is built up in SolidWorks so that we can utilize the add-in. As you notice over here, I have two solid bodies, the inductive coil and the dielectric. So because I have two solid bodies, this allows me to apply the specific material to each body. I'm going to apply the insulator to my dielectric solid body and I'm going to apply the conductor to my inductive coil. So how I built this up was I created the dielectric base first and then I created my spiral in my dielectric body. I then had to create a copy of the spiral and then I had to create a negative space of the copied body of this spiral and then I was able to go and fill it back in so that way there's no overlap of the geometry of my dielectric and my inductive coil they're completely separated I also went and created two two connection points right here so that when I do print this I'll be able to connect the software and the other PCB that controls that controls the circuitry that sends that sends the pulses of AC current through this coil to allow for the wireless charging to occur. I also hollowed this out right here we wouldn't have any absorption of the magnetic field through the dielectric that would be covering it. And just for some design effect, I added this little lightning bolt in the middle here. So now that we know how we have to separate our bodies, depending on what specific type of material we want to associate with each solid body, let's go into the add-in itself and we'll show how it works. So I'm gonna go over here. I'm going to launch my add-in and it's going to create this this tray right here and this is going to show the print direction so it's oriented my part like this but that's not how we want to print it we want to print it flat onto the tray so I'll go and highlight my model and we're going to rotate it and once we have it oriented how we like and how we want it to be printed I'm going to say place on tray just like that and now it's flat on the tray and it's laid and oriented exactly how I want it printed by the nano dimension over here in our components list we can see the separate solid bodies the name that we gave them and then the material so for the dielectric we'll go down here 
and we're going to select insulator and it's going to apply a green color just to differentiate and then the inductive coil we'll go over here and select conductor simple as that now we can go to generate and it's going to generate my job file that I can go and take to the Nano Dimension Dragonfly 2020 to print. Now once it's done generating my print job file, it's going to ask me that slicing is complete. Do you want to open the folder with the results? And we'll say yes. We're going to go take a look. And as you can see here, we have some different PCB job files here. And we also have the file folder for the images. And if we just cycle through these images, we can see that the first file is conductor. And so as you can see, as we scroll through these images, it's slowly starting to build up that coil. So these are the individual slices, each layer that it's going to print up. And if we go through here, we can see that the conductor and the coil gets more prominent as it slices through the diameter of that of that spiral that we created and if we keep going farther down we can see the insulator and eventually we'll get to the negative space that we created in our dielectric body and there we are and there's the empty space that it's going to fill with that conductor and if we keep going farther and farther there we see the empty the complete empty space that will hold the coil and we can also see that lightning bolt that we added so now that we have our job file that we created from our nano dimension add-in all we have to do is take it over to our PCB 3d printer set up our file over there and wait for it to print. This has been Chance Raven with Go Engineer, introducing the Nano Dimension add-in for SolidWorks. Thank you. Have a great day.